Good happy Monday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, Route 3 in Tilton closed after fatal crash. Route 3 in Tilton was closed in both directions Friday evening after a fatal head-on crash. Gastis economic plan proposes tax regulation cuts. Republican candidate for governor Ted Gastis promised to work to cut taxes and regulations in a detailed economic plan he released on Monday. Rain does little to alternative drought. Parts of the state got some much-needed rainfall Monday, but experts said much more is needed to help alter severe drought conditions. Police seek man after Nashua bank robbery. Police in Nashua are searching for a man Monday after a bank robbery. Ayot Hassan Camp Trade Twerks Criticism with c Cardboard Cutouts State of Race Memo. After Senator Kelly Ayotte's campaign twerked Governor Maggie Hassan with a Take Your Governor to Work Cardboard Cutout, see item below. Hassan campaign hit the Republican incumbent in a state of the race memo with less than a hundred days to go before the general election. Personal fire fighters of New Hampshire endorses Conley for governor. Democratic candidate for governor Mark Conley has received the endorsement of a professional firefighters of New Hampshire, one of the most influential labor organizations in the state. Madison Clymer set new record. Andrew Drummond exceeded his goal of being the first person to climb all of New Hampshire's 4,000 footers in a single week unsupportive and he was able to do it in less than six days. Motorcyclist killed in crash on Route 101. A motorcyclist was killed in a two vehicle crash on Saturday according to Bedford Police. Man charged with driving with drunken driving in Fatal crash. A Sundin's man who police said was behind the wheel during a fatal car crash in Bedford appeared in court Monday. Merrimack woman accused of driving drunk while after hitting utility pole. A Merrimack woman was arrested early Sunday morning for operating under the influence of alcohol after she crashed into a utility pole in the town, police said. Woman slashes man with kitchen knife during argument, police say. A Nashua woman was arrested after police say she attacked a man with a kitchen knife early Sunday morning in an argument. Massachusetts murderer suspect arrested in Manchester. A Massachusetts man wanted in connection with a homicide was arrested Friday in Manchester, authorities announced. Powerball jackpot winning ticket sold in New Hampshire. We may not know yet who purchased the winning Powerball ticket in New Hampshire, but one thing is certain, their life is about to change forever. Judge sees red after bear lugged prisoner brought to court. 
a Louisiana judge scold jail officials for bringing a female inmate into court without a jail jumpsuit and it ap appeared with no pants. Hillary Clinton opens up nine point lead on Trump in new national poll. Let's take a look at the video from ABC News. The better works. Retinol correction from rock. Methods, not miracles. Donald Trump is digging his heels in deeper in his feud with the parents of a fallen U.S. soldier, Army Captain Humayu Khan. Tweeting this morning, this story is not about Mr. Khan, who's all over the place doing interviews, but rather radical Islamic terrorism in the U.S. Get smart. The Khans, a Muslim couple, appeared at the Democratic Convention speaking about their sacrifice after their son died protecting his troops in Iraq. You have sacrificed nothing and no one. But over the weekend, Trump made some of his most controversial comments to date. How would you answer that, Father? What sacrifice have you made for your country? I think I've made a lot of sacrifices. Uh, I work very, very hard. I've created thousands and thousands of jobs. Trump also questioned the silence from Mrs. Khan during the speech, suggesting she was oppressed by her religion. This morning on CNN, she answered the critique, saying she was overcome seeing her deceased son's photo on stage. Anybody can see that how different that time was when I was standing there in front of America. The families of 11 fallen service members wrote an open letter demanding an apology to the Khans and all military families. And Republican Senator John McCain offered a scathing rebuke of Trump and wrote to Mr. and Mrs. Khan, thank you for immigrating to America. We're a better country because of you. And you are certainly right. Your son was the best of America. Another part of that interview making headlines, Trump saying definitively that Putin would not go into the Ukraine and then revising his position after being told that troops are already there. Lana Zach, ABC News, Washington. Okay, and there you go on that report. FBI employee arrested for allegedly acting as secret Chinese agent. An FBI employee was has been arrested in New York, allegedly lying about secret work for Chinese businessmen and government officials. According to charging documents filed in the case unsealed today. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Monday evening. Good night, everyone. Bye.